How do you handle difficult conversations? Let's talk about it. Good morning, everybody. Josh Ezell, Breakthrough Real Estate, Property Management, and Handyman Services. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Do me a favor. If you're digging these tidbits, please hit that like and subscribe button. It means the world to us. It lets us know we're doing a good job. And while you're at it, please share. Help us grow our community. We want to try to make as much of a positive impact and as many people as possible. And we really, really appreciate your help. Today is step two of our three-step guide to communication. Yesterday we talked about mirroring and matching to be able to build that rapport really quick and how nobody cares how much you know until they know how much you care, which is why we have two ears and one mouth, right? Well, today we're going to be talking about difficult conversations and how to handle these precarious situations, right? So I have a quick three-step suggestion, I guess you could say, about handling these situations. So quickly, let's go. Number one, be optimistic. If you have an idea that it's going to work out well, there's a pretty good chance it's going to work out well. If you have a feeling they're going to get pissed off, eh, they're probably going to get pissed off. If you are more worried about the conversation than they are, there's a pretty good chance they're going to pick up on it. So having optimism that the conversation is going to work out as well as it can be. Working out as well as can be optimism doesn't mean that they're going to be all like, woo, honky-dory. It means that you're going to convey your message in a successful way. Having happy people on the other end, sometimes it's just not going to happen. But if you say what you mean with love, with sincerity, and with optimism that they will understand your heart, your point, whatever it might be, there's a much greater likelihood that they're going to do it. Okay? So that's number one. Number two, and we're going to cut to a clip from Moneyball from this, and um, Brad Pitt is giving his suggestion to Jonah Hill as to the best ways to let somebody go. There you go. I can't develop personal relationships with these guys. I got to be able to trade them, send them down, sometimes cut them. Which is something you should learn to do, by the way. I would never have to cut a player unless you... Oh, come on. Come on what? Let's practice. No. Yeah, I'm a player, and you got to cut me from the roster. No. Go. What do you mean, no? No. Do it. This is stupid. Part of the job, man. Fine. Billy, please have a seat. I need to talk to you for a minute. Go on. You've been a huge part of this team, but sometimes you have to make decisions that are best for the team. I'm sure you can understand that. You're cutting me. I'm really sorry. I just bought a house here. Well. In Oakland. Well, uh, well. Well, it, well, that's all you got to say? My kid just started a new school. They made friends. That's, uh, well, you shouldn't pull them out in the middle of the school year. You, you, you should wait. What the hell are you talking about? I don't know. I don't know. I shouldn't have, I'm not going to do this. I don't think, I think this is stupid. I'm not going to fire anybody and this is dumb. They're professional ball players. Just be straight with them. No fluff, just facts. Pete, I got to let you go. Jack's office will handle the details. That's it? Really? Would you rather get a bullet to the head or five to the chest and bleed to death? Are those my only two options? Go on the road with the team. Excuse me, Carlos? Yeah? Can I speak with you for a minute? Yeah. Carlos, you've been traded to the Tigers. This is Jay Palmer's number. He's the traveling secretary for the team. 
expecting your call. I'll take care of everything. Is that it? Yes. Short and sweet. That's my takeaway. Being an emotional, blubbering idiot, which I have a tendency to be, does not go in your favor during these circumstances. Keeping it short and sweet. It's hard because we feel the need to justify. And more often than not, that justification is what gets us in trouble. So keep it simple, keep it short, right? Last but not least, number three has two different parts and kind of touched on them just a minute ago. Having confidence. If you're scared of the situation, it's gonna, it's gonna shine through. If you're nervous, if you're worried, it's gonna shine through right at the same time if you're trying to be this fake person if you're trying to be this person you're not meant to be or pretty much anything but a sincere person during these difficult conversations it's going to pick up so be confident as confident as can be what you're delivering might be tough in property management telling somebody that their AC went out and they're gonna have a three to six thousand dollar um, bill coming up is never easy but did I break their AC unit? Did anybody, is it our fault? No, it's not. These things happen. Life happens. Sometimes you're just the messenger and we don't want to be shot. It's understandable. But at the same time, don't make it seem like it's your fault, whatever happened. You're just conveying the message usually, right? So do it with confidence, but do it with sincerity. All right. There's my three-step guide to handling difficult conversations. Please leave your feedback below. Again, thank you for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Please share our community. I appreciate it so much. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Hey everybody, Josh is Outbreak Real Estate and Property Management slash Handyman Services. We got you covered, whether it's selling, buying, leasing, property management, uh, multitudes of handyman services. We got you covered. Give us a call. Um, we are absolutely happy to help. And as our slogan states, we are the breakthrough needed in these industries. If you're a struggling realtor, we have the systems for you to succeed. If you're an owner or investor, we are the people who take care of your property. We take care of it as if it's our own, I mean, if not better. Uh, our success is predicated on your success. When it comes to handyman services, we started this service because we've been burned so many times in the last decade by other handyman. We are the breakthrough needed in this industry. If you want somebody that actually shows up and shows up on time, that gets the job done affordably, we're your group, right? So if there's anything we can do for you, don't hesitate to give us a call, give us a message. And uh, while you're at it, if you're digging these tidbits, please hit that like button, hit subscribe, wherever they are. I need to figure this one out. <laughs> and um, please share this community. I appreciate it so much.